Hi everybody, I'm Danny Dancer. I'm the Kidtropolis educator here at Children's Museum Houston, and today's story time is sponsored by Phillips 66. I hope everybody at home is having a great spring break, and we have this entire week been celebrating our STEAM week, so we're celebrating science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And today is our art day, so I have chosen a story called The Book With No Pictures which probably seems kind of strange. If we're celebrating art, why would I read a book with no pictures in it? Well, art isn't just about pictures or paintings. Art can also include things like storytelling and music and dance. So I am gonna try my best to read this story in a super fun way for you all because if you haven't read it before, I think it's gonna become your new favorite. I hope you all enjoyed the book with no pictures written by BJ Novak and this story is read with permission of its publisher, Dial Books for Young Readers, which is an imprint of Penguin Group LLC. The book with no pictures. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. It probably seems boring and serious. Except, here is how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say. No matter what. That's the deal. That's the rule. So that means, even if the words say, Lork! Wait, what? <laughs> that doesn't even mean anything. Uh, wait a second, what? This isn't the kind of book I wanted to read. And I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm, I'm not a monkey. <laughs> And now I am reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true, I am not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. What? And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading, please? No? And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Do I really have to sing a glug, glug, glug? My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. What? This book is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it? No? There are more pages? I have to read the rest? My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. Boo Boo Butt? And also, the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the history of the entire world. Oh, really? And this kid is the smartest kid too, because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. Because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things. And make silly sounds like, oh no, oh no, here it comes. <gasps> Beep. Boop. Doomy face! 
Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please. Because this is just too ridiculous to read. <sighs> the end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> Thank you everybody so much for joining me for today's story time, which was sponsored by Phillips 66. I hope you loved the book with no pictures as much as I do. And I hope you have a great rest of your day and your spring break. Bye, everybody.